first period, Jake Taylor comes with about an inch of opening the scoring, but that right there is the goaltender's favorite sound. Fury turned the puck over in their own end. That spells trouble. Donnie Edwards with the initial stop, but Robert Ward pounces on the rebound. Vaughn up by a score of 1-0. Quincy McIver turns B.J. Pyrus inside out, but can't find space behind Victor Adamo. The effort goes for nine. Vipers break in 2-1-1. Eddie with the initial save, and then he's bailed out by his goalpost on the rebound. Now Devin Shore just keeps this play on side, then goes to work. Stick handles in. Wrist shot, scores. Nice goal, the Fury back on level terms. Shore with his third point in as many games. Jake Emilio looks to have a sure goal here, but Edwards gets across to keep this one out. Beautiful save to preserve the tie. Sam Gray breaks in, goes to the backhand, can't score. He's pulled down, he's looking for his penalty shot, the second of the season, but uh, nothing doing. However, on the power play, the Fury take the lead. Ryan Kirk up finds Steven Deeg. Whitby up 2-1. The Fury on the power play now to kill this game off, but Robert Mann with the ill-advised pass. Ward with a nose for the goal. Outweights Edwards. Goes to the backhand. Scores shorthanded. Whitby was just 12 seconds away from the win, and extra time was not kind to them last season. So Whitby needs a hero. Anybody will do, but how about Sam Gray? Goes in and scores. Chipping the puck past the demo. Huge relief for the Fury, who should have finished this game off in regulation. Uh, you know, I just wasn't much time left. I just wanted to try to drive it hard to the net and throw something there and uh, just kind of got lucky on that one. It was pretty tough, you know, anything like that, especially on the power play. Uh, you know, big turnovers really cost us. But, I mean, uh, boys fired back. I mean... It's a big uh, leap to get that win in overtime, so I mean, worked out over well, but really try and close out games much better.